All right, guys, we made it to the Bowers uh, booth. I already reviewed two of their suppressors on my YouTube channel, but we're going to cover a different suppressor that I have not put my hands on yet. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Uh, this is the USS. Okay. It's our 22 can that you can use from any of the 17 rim fires, including the WSM, full auto 22, FN 57, 22 mag, 22 Hornet, and uh, it's just, it's a superb, tough little it's can. Sucker. It's the USS stands for user serviceable suppressor, okay. so you can take it apart and clean it okay. if you would like to. And what's the tube constructed of? Uh, the tube is 304 stainless. It's black oxided, okay. and then. Uh, Everything steel in this can okay. except for the front cap, which we switched recently to aluminum because right. it saves a little over an ounce. Right. And now, some people everybody at home, totally safe to put in a ultrasonic cleaner. The baffles. Yeah, the baffles. Right. Front cap being aluminum, no, no, I don't no, no, recommend not the front ever. Cap. I don't Strip it down, throw the baffles in, yeah. and super easy to clean. Right. right. Um, I don't think you even need to go to that much hassle on it. Dustin Ellerman has a video on his channel where he's cleaning one of these after 2,000 rounds or so. And it basically just rinses out in a tub of water and a little bit of minor rubbing. So it's it's not a problem to clean them. The new school of thought these days is you don't need to get it squeaky clean for it to be I, good I would, to go. I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, um, I think a lot of it's actually kind of fetishized and right. doesn't need to be cleaned nearly as much as people think. I never clean my cans anymore. I don't. I'm guilty. Good Maybe the booster I, I assembly. The booster assembly. It makes you a better person. It does. It does. Uh, so what's the price point on this one? Uh, that one's just under 500 bucks. It's 495 okay. It feels robust. It is robust as they get. It okay. is a beefy can. I think it's very tough. It's extraordinarily effective. I'll put it up against anybody. I'm sure we'll do a full review on it soon. That'd be great. Um, Silencer Shop has tested this. This is the quietest 22 can they've ever tested. All right. We'll put it to the test. Cool. Any, I'd love to see that. Any, uh, anything else over here you want to show me? Mm, you've covered the Verse 9S. We did the Verse 9S and we did the uh, 30. This is the, cute. Have okay. you held this? I have not. Oh, my God. This is real? Yep. I'm not like fluff baiting you guys out here. This is like crazy. It feels like uh, a business card or something. What What is this? It's actually five ounces. It's a 45 ACP can, um, ready to go as it is. They're, so, shoot, they're shooting them in there. So you don't it's, need a booster because it's so light. Correct. Yeah. So really? next time somebody tells you that, oh, if you have a Browning swinging link action or whatever, you need to have a booster, well. Right. So maybe. it's constructed of aluminum? That is, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 7075 T6, anodized. Yes. Okay. Exactly. What's the price point on this? Uh, that's a good question. I make this stuff. I don't necessarily sell it myself. It's usually the case. I, I the makers say, aren't the marketers. I want to say it's seven and a quarter. I believe that's okay. correct. And this is the ASP45. Yes, it is. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This I really do want to test because I love cool niche like micro cans and cans that, that are really a very different. Niche can. It's yeah. not for everyone, right. which is fine. Cool. Um, but it's well, we've been running that one in there for two days on that clock twenty. Right. Uh, and people are people are le eating it up. They're having a good time with it. You it's know that would be awesome host on or uh, awesome suppressor on. What's that? A HK USP Compact 45. That is like made for that. A lot gun. of people have run them on uh, on those. The predecessor to this was the ATAS, and that was made for specifically for the HK USP 45 and the uh, Socom, the Model 21. Right. Um, it was frustration with that that actually led to our insert system. So you could have the same can and go right hand threads right. in one, right and left hand because they right. were fixed mounts. Because like HK has to ruin everything with their mounting system, right? Yeah. With their threaded barrels. Basically, I had a pile of Model 21 cans right. with fixed mounts right. that I couldn't sell. Right. And I sold out of tactical ones and I'm going, we need to move moving this insert from the inside to the outside, right? And that's where the insert system came up. I really want to put that up on the channel, show people what it can do. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely have to get that out there for you guys. So, uh, all right. Well, thanks for having some time for me. Hey, I'm gonna go hit the other booth. Thanks so much. For and 
totally inviting us and absolutely we've had a really great time and absolutely really positive response really happy people it's been a great show uh, yeah really I, i've been very pleased i've, I've seen a lot pleased. of a lot of smiles a lot of first timers putting yeah. their hands on suppressor shooting machine guns stuff like that and people traveling for hours to get here we had a couple from miami michigan ohio one guy from california dude from oregon yeah oh, that's me <laughs> we had a guy from New York City this morning who was in town eating lunch next door and it popped up on his nearby things and he came over and he's like, this is great. I'm going to send pictures to all my friends at home. They can't touch this stuff. So no, no. that's pretty cool. cool. So, all right, I'm going to skedaddle. Go check out the next booth. See you guys. Nice.